Hello everybody, Ian Raps here, welcome back to our mods mashup. Today we're looking at the Gearbox add-on. So basically as the mod suggests, it's, see, it adds gears to all of your tractors. So it adds it all to the in-game tractors as well as mods I believe as well. So one of the things you'll probably notice the most uh, when you have the Gearbox add-on installed is that you have this little motor off function on the right hand side over there. So that's one of the things that you have right there. So if I turn the engine on, you'll see it says automatic. So you can set it so it's automatically, so it automatically goes through all the gears, or you can have it set so it, uh, you have to manually go through the gears. So I'm going to show you what the automatic function is like. So I'm going to be quiet here just for a second so you can hear what it sounds like when, uh, when the engine is running, because it sounds a little bit different with the gearbox add-on. All right, we'll do that again. Do you hear it going through the gears? So that's one of the biggest things you'll notice uh, when you're messing around with this particular mod is it does sound kind of neat uh, when it goes through all the different gears. So you can actually do that manually if you wish. So if you want to, if you want your engine to, if you want, if you want to manually go through all the, uh, different gears, what you need to press is the colon or semicolon button. And that'll switch between manual and automatic mode. Automatic mode is what I was just in, so when I press the W key it just goes and chooses the gears that it wants to use automatically. If I switch it to manual, that means I have to manually do it. So I, if I put my my foot down or put my push W down right now, it's only going to go up to the maximum speed I can go in this gear and until I shift up. And the way I shift up in this particular mod is with the open square bracket. So it's right beside the P. So that'll increase it up to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think 16 is the highest it goes. And then if I want to downshift, the button I need to press is the apostrophe key. Or where you have the apostrophe, just to the left of the enter key on most keyboards. As you can see, I'm going down through the gears. So here's in, if I go to gear one, this is as fast as I'm going to go. But as you can see, my RPMs are really high. And I'm not really uh, putting a lot of load on this particular uh, vehicle. So if I drop the cultivator here, you'll see that the load has increased. Let's go ahead and put it into second gear, third gear. And you'll see what happens is the load increases and the fuel usage changes as we go along as well. Okay? Kind of one of the neat functions. If you want to back up with this particular mod, one thing you'll have to do is you have to press this space bar and then it'll back up like so. And the space bar again will make us go forward. So this is like the shuttle control that we have in the uh, in drive control basically. So you can set your cruise control as per normal with three setting the cruise control up and then four you have a second cruise control function and that one's kind of like you can have it set up so uh, you see how it changes to 40 automatically there you can adjust that as you see fit let's say I want it set to 35 you can see that I press 3 here and you can see that the clutch also overheats if you switch gears too much if I press 4 I set it down to 25 if I press 4 again I go back to uh, one basically so you can set up like a, a second like cruise control but it, basically it's like the cruise control that you have the uh, the speed set to so it just automatically goes to that okay so that is that so in some tractors there'll also be a high and low gear function which is kind of neat so here I am in the case IH uh, 1455XL and this tractor has a high low gear function as opposed to that challenger over there so if I want to switch between the high and low gears, that's a bit of a different function. So I'm going to turn the engine off, I'm going to put it into manual mode here. And you notice that if I don't press anything right now, the vehicles are going to just roll forward slowly. And that's what will happen in real life if you put, uh, if you put a tractor in gear in low RPMs. Uh, often they will just roll. Same with cars will do the same thing. Um, you'll just, they'll automatically roll forward. So in order to keep it from rolling forward, you can do a couple things. You can press... Um, the colon or semicolon button will put auto hold on 
and you can switch between manual and auto hold. Auto hold is basically going to hold it in this location for you and then manual will be put back into this situation. So if I want to switch between high and low gears, the button I press is the backslash button I believe it would be. So it's just the, just below the backspace button. Uh, sorry, not the back, the backslash. It is actually the close square bracket. So that would be high and low. So if you want to switch between those gears, it's the close square bracket, and then the backslash will switch between those two. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a, all the notes in the description for all the key binds, because there are quite a few for this particular mod. So you can do that. So let's go. Let's say I want to go into low gear. Set it up like so. And you can hear the engine revving up. Because I, I have it in first gear, and I have basically it's full throttle right now. So if I gear up here, you'll hear the engine change notes there, which is really neat. So you can have it set up so it's doing different things. If I want to switch to a high gear here, you'll hear the RPMs change and the speed change as well, because usually in high and low gear you're doing different things. So if you're on the highway, uh, most of the time you'll probably be in, oops, probably be in high gear here. And you can see as they shift the gears, we go just a little bit faster. So high six is as fast as we can get this particular tractor. And if I switch to low, you'll see that my speed is still quick, but not as quick between the high gear and the low gear. And that's too big expected, basically. Let's go ahead and downshift here. So now I'm in low one again, and there you go. You can also mess around with the clutches uh, with the clutch if you choose to. Uh, that would be with the question mark button and the period button. So you can uh, adjust that. So you can have the, you can set different things uh, up in different ways. So if you look in the top left hand corner, you'll see the gearbox is set to reali realistic. If I hold right shift, I can make it so it's simplified or realistic, whichever you prefer. And then right shift for right shift and the uh, colon or semicolon will change the so it's the manual gearbox is on or off. So if I stop the engine, you'll see that now if I hold right shift and the colon and semicolon button, it'll turn the actual uh, manual gearbox mod off. So again, you need the spacebar to go forward and back. If you want to use the clutch, it is the question mark and just to left up the the period sign. It's supposed to be the default, so you may have to check your defaults. It may change depending on what you have set up. If you want to gear up, it is the open square bracket. If you want to gear down, it is the apostrophe, so just right just to the left of the enter key. If you want to switch between manual and automatic uh, and neutral, uh, you press the just the colon key. We'll switch up so it's neutral, manual, so right now it's in neutral, so if I stop, now it's going to put it go into auto hold mode. It's going to sit there until I actually change some things. If I want to set the cruise control, it's three. We'll set the cruise control up. And because I'm in auto hold, it's not going to do anything. And if I press four, that's that second cruise control function. Now, one of the really neat things I discovered about this particular mod is that uh, if I want to use a hand throttle like I would, let's say, in this, so let's, I'm not sure where the hand throttle would be on this tractor. And maybe that, but it looks more like a parking brake. I'm not sure. Anyways, if you want to send a, set, set a hand throttle, so you just set the RPMs at a certain RPM and then go through the gears, you can do that as well. So right now the RPMs are just running at 800, 960 RPM. So if I want to set my hand throttle, I can do that by pressing my plus and minus key just to the left of the backspace button. So here, you'll show that my hand throttle is set to 120 now. And now I don't have to hold any keys, it'll just automatically set that. So in some of these older trackers, this is what you tend to see. I believe the newer ones have it as well. But this is what you can kind of do with this. So if you want to set the throttle to a certain RPM, let's say you want to have it set up so it's around 1500 RPM, and then you can switch to the gears then. And then it'll just sit, sit there like that. Because generally you don't want to max out your RPMs in a lot of scenarios. It's pretty rare that you want to have you know max RPM in uh, in lots of situations here. So you can go through go through high and low gears and have your RPM just set with your hand throttle, which I thought was really neat actually. Some of these older tractors have that. And if you just take the hand throttle off completely, you can of course uh, adjust your throttle by pressing the W and S. It will change your throttle. So depending on how you want to have it set up. 
So that is the basics of the Gearbox mod. So that's how to use it in game. Uh, I'll put all the, I'll, I'll put all the key bindings in the description because there are quite a few. There's a whole different set of key bindings for the Gearbox mod if you hold the right shift. And I'll put a link. I'll write all the descriptions, uh, all the key bindings there as well. Now, as a little side note, you can actually add uh, specific gear gear setups to specific tractors. Let's say you want to set up the specific gearbox for this 1455. You can go online, find out what the gearbox is, and you can do that uh, after for this specific tractor. But in general, the gearbox mod works like this. I hope you enjoyed, and if I miss anything, leave a comment below with what I may have missed. My name's Ian Robson. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys later.